We heard a bit of a symphony of chirping and clicking as the moon passed in front of the sun yesterday. As the crowds grew quiet, crickets and cicadas came out to play, but only for a short time. Yeah, about two and a half minutes, and then they were right back where they came from. <laughs> Animal experts were on the lookout for the unusual beastly behavior at Chattanooga's Zoo and the Aquarium. Channel 3 meteorologist Nick Austin explains why the animal experts were watching wildlife while we were keeping our eyes on the sun. Lemurs like this one at the Tennessee Aquarium are known to pay attention to the sky a lot, not just during an eclipse. Tom Benson says the lemurs didn't do anything out of the ordinary because Chattanooga didn't experience a total eclipse. And the transition was rather slow, as you know, and for those couple of moments of what we had near totality here, it was still relatively bright in downtown Chattanooga. He expected a little more reaction, similar to when a dark storm cloud passes overhead during the day, but even other animals who sometimes vocalize stay quiet. Overhead lighting had to stay on too, which dimmed the effects of the eclipse. We didn't want it to go completely dark in the aquarium. It would be a safety problem for any of our guests. There was more reaction from the animals outside. It was very cool to watch everybody looking up. Uh, when it got dark, all the cicadas and crickets started chirping. Because of differences in lighting and ambiance, animal behavior was a bit of a different story over at the zoo. Zookeeper Krista O'Neill says the chimpanzees had the most remarkable reaction. One of them, named Katrina, became concerned as the sun gradually disappeared. Another chimp came to comfort her. She came out and Amanda followed after her, kind of gave her a little bit of a hug and consoled her, and then they started patrolling around the entire enclosure. Many of the zoo's animals are exposed to what's happening outdoors. O'Neill says this made a difference. The insects got very, very loud. I think that's kind of what tipped Katrina off. The eclipse definitely brought out the animal instincts in these creatures. It was really interesting to see Katrina definitely looking up at the sky and noticing that something felt a little different this time. Even though it was more tame at the aquarium, Benson is happy the eclipse brought people together. Everybody was focused on astronomy and science and nature, and we hope that that kind of continues to be an interest for a lot of folks. Oh, especially our younger viewers. What a great science lesson. Our thanks to Nick Austin for that story. Krista O'Neill says the coyotes at the zoo got a little nervous and the macaws stopped talking for a few minutes. There's a rarity hmm. for you right yeah. there. Yeah, they, they were quietly taking it all in, right? For two and yeah. a half minutes. Well,